there. I'm Chris Rachel Oslin with the Austin Post. And I'm Gavin Stone with Fanboy TV, and we're here with the people behind the amazing movie, The Retrieval. Let's introduce everyone, starting with here and working our way down. Sure. I am Chris Eska, and I'm the director and the writer. Okay. My name is Tashawn Scott. I play Nate. I'm Keston John. I play Marcus. Okay, so really quick, let's tell the audience what the movie The Retrieval is about. In a nutshell, it's about a 13-year-old boy during the U.S. Civil War, and he's sent north by his bounty hunter gang to retrieve a wanted man. Okay, well, watching this film, it's very serious, and <laughs> usually I don't watch yes, quote-unquote yes. adult movies, because we're true. geese, sure. we watch stuff with sure. explosions, so I found myself really intrigued by this, but most importantly, the setting. How did you get the feel of the Civil War so almost spot on? Uh, it's, not, it's not easy on, on the kind of budget we had, but we had a lot of reenactors who came out, and they were just so, so excited to be a part of a film. Yeah. They, they lent us all of their equipment. They brought horses. They brought period saddles oh, and wow. leather and guns and all that type of stuff. And our production designer, Caroline Carlin, who's from Austin, she also, you know, made period buildings and, and gathered, she made gathered buildings all for you. Yeah, she constructed them. Well, you know, with the help of a few other people. Literally. Oh, yeah. 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 It wasn't in just the out there with a the maker bot. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Put it up with some duct tape and stuff on the inside. You don't see. It looks good on the outside, but we hope it doesn't fall. That right. is how it is. Yeah, I, I think I think most of them have fallen since then. <laughs> Um, so I actually, by training, I'm a historian, so I'm really, really intrigued by films like this. What was your motivation to try and dip into the Civil War for a movie? Well, it's not so much the Civil War. I, I, always, I always have certain themes and emotions I'm going for, and I work backwards from there, and I try and find the best setting, the, the, the best characters mm -hmm. to highlight those emotions. And so, you know, during the Civil War, there's all these things like war and the end of slavery and just being out in the woods. All these things sort of, um, they sort of, they, they highlight the emotions. They kind of, they kind of squeeze the characters in these difficult situations. And that sort of allows things to, to come through. So what drew the two of you to want to be in this movie? A casting call. Oh. <laughs> like, did you read the script and go, man, I've you know got to be in this? I actually, um, I sent, I think I sent Chris something. Uh, a year before we shot, uh, a year like I sent your, I found it on backstage. I sent you something in the mail, and then I got a call like a like a year later or something wow. like, that. <laughs> like, oh, you have an audition tomorrow for. <laughs> <laughs> At the time, it was called something else. So yeah, I was like, okay, yeah, no. Um, and I mean, I had heard about August Evening and mm. and the success of that. And when I read it, I was like just drawn to the material. It was like, boom. Let's, there's no, there was no option. <laughs> Uh, I was very Chris Eska naive, <laughs> uh, and I got the sides from my agent, mm -hmm. and I was like, who wrote this? This is wonderful. This is brilliant. This mm -hmm. is something that I definitely want to be a part of. So that's what really drew me to wanting to be a part of, of, of this project. Well, it, it's a really interesting way that you put it in the film, and... I liked the way you shot it especially, and just the sets alone were worth it. Did you guys have any real challenges making this film? Like, did you ever have a place, you can't do that because this wasn't how it would have been in the Civil War? You know, or do you there's have a people, highway over yeah, there. Yeah, kind of get yeah. the yeah. Yeah. by. I mean, I, I think there is a, an 18-wheeler in, in, <laughs> in one of the shots in the background. Sort of like, oh, wow. like, like, so, so like in the Alamo, <laughs> like in the old John Wayne Alamo, there was a school bus that goes by toward the end. Um, I, I think we had that, but no one would ever see it in a million years. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's difficult because you have, to, you have to drive to the end of the highway, and then you have to drive down country roads for another 20 minutes. So mm -hmm. that adds 20 minutes on your commute on these bumpy roads. Once you get out there, there's no regular toilets, or, you know, the, you know, there's only the food and water that you bring in. Yeah. Um, and of course, also it was, um, it was the coldest winter in several years in Texas. And so for my so L.A. Nice. actors especially. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you guys went out in the winter time? Yeah, there was one. Which there's, there's Texas actual snow. means they were out there in like 40 or 50. No, 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 no. It was 19. No, it was no, cold. There, no were, cold. there were days when it did not get above freezing. We have we captured wow. snow on film. In, oh, no, no, in no, Texas? No, no. I'm yes. so sorry for you guys being I'm out there I'm just impressed that you actually yeah. managed to capture it on film as proof there was one snow in Texas. <laughs> well, <laughs> so, so there's one shot that the snow really showed up, and then all the rest we added digital snow so it would match. <laughs> right. Because you know, once it hits the ground here, it's gone. Yeah. It, it doesn't exist. Yeah. So, did you know one ever actually been out to Texas before? I had never been. I, well, other than driving through Amarillo. 
Um, <laughs> no, I hadn't been. What was one of the most surprising things for you? Because there's a lot of stereotypes about Texas. I'm not from here myself, so I was a little bit surprised. Right. Uh, what would you say, having spent time in like crazy costumes in the middle of nowhere, right. was the most surprising thing for you about Texas? How friendly everyone was. That's true. Um, We're not. We keep forgetting the whole. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone just keeps people. talking to me and just like, <laughs> "Hey, how are you? Yeah, you want this? Yeah, sure." Uh, <laughs> like, no, it was just it, that's that that surprised me. It's just like because coming from LA, my neighbor doesn't talk to me. Mm -hmm. So yeah. <laughs> really? Because I always find that weird. Because you can walk around downtown. You probably have seen it. People are talking to you, saying hi. Yeah. They don't it's, care. It's they have crazy. no qualms. But you know, other places we keep hearing, no one yeah. talks to me. I don't even know who my neighbor is, no. like you just said. Yeah, walks right by. Hi, how you doing? Uh, who are you? Just walks right <laughs> yeah. by. Yeah. So, Had yeah. either of you ever worked on historical films before? No. I not. So this was actually a whole, like getting into that kind of you yeah. know, old get up and whatnot, the heavy wool, and right. it's all completely new to yeah, you. Right. So after doing a historical film, will you do another one? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I would, absolutely. That's uh, awesome to hear. <laughs> yeah. I would, I would, I would, definitely. It's not in the cold. Definitely <laughs> yeah. not in the cold. Yeah, you know, put on some furs or something. Yeah, something. <laughs> no, I'm just like. How have audiences been taking this movie so far? Audiences have not seen this movie so far. No one oh, has seen it at any festival? Debut? Yeah, our world premiere is on Monday. Okay. So at 1.45 on Monday is our first screening. We've had limited test screenings over mm -hmm. the past year, and they were very encouraging. Are you nervous really at all that people are going to be like, oh, what is this? I'm, I'm not nervous. Not, not, <laughs> not, not because the film is so great, but just because I've been doing this for 15 years. <laughs> I, I'm waiting for the reviewer says, it's not series accurate. There's an 18-wheeler right here on this frame. <laughs> at this time, look for it. What do you think audiences are going to find the most surprising thing about the movie? Um, well, I guess... It'd be good for them to know what it is going in. It's not a war film. Mm -hmm. You know, it's 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 an emotional drama with elements of of the western genre, with elements of suspense, um, even a little bit of road movie. Mm -hmm. So they, they they see the Civil War, they hear history, and they might be thinking, oh, it's going to be sort of stodgy period. Like me, drama. I'll fall asleep, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Right. But no, th there's actually there's a hook, there's a story. You know, mm -hmm. this little boy is sent to retrieve a wanted man, and it's dangerous, and he has a he has a serious choice to make. Right. So why did you send to choose a boy? Well, when you have you know 13, 14 year olds. And you're talking about decisions. You're talking about how we're going to be as as adults. Mm -hmm. um, what kind of what kind of person we're going to turn out as? Um, when you when you capture that that 14 year old boy, and, you, and and I and I found the perfect actor. Um, and if you get them at the right angle, they can look like a man. If you get them at a different angle, they can look like a child. And mm -hmm. so you see that vulnerability, and you see them. So you see the wheels turning, and, and and how they're making this 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 very important decision. Well, it was an absolutely awesome movie. I hope it goes really well on Monday. And I want to thank you guys and have thank a great you. time. And thank come you. back to Texas more often yeah. just in Most the summer. Definitely. I would say not the summer because it gets <laughs> no, like 200 no. degrees. But <laughs> come yeah. in the spring for those few weeks when it's comfortable. Right, right, right. It's weeks. lovely in November. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. All right. Lovely in November is a good way to put it. So have a blast at South by Southwest. Enjoy everything. And thank you. Thanks for coming out. Thank you so much. It was a good deal of fun. Yeah.